All right, let's talk about something called solubility and the common ion effect. The question here is what mass of barium fluoride dissolves in 100 milliliters of water and then 100 milliliters of 0.1 mole per liter HF. The common ion effect says that if you already have fluoride or barium dissolved in the water, it can hold less of these because you've already saturated the solution a tiny bit. You haven't fully saturated it probably, but you'll be able to dissolve less of this because you won't, the water molecules already have some fluoride in it, so they won't be able to solvate these molecules quite as well. Let's prove that with a little math and investigate KSP as we go. KSP is the equilibrium constant for the dissolving of a solid. If it's BAF2 solid, it's BAF2 solid dissolving to give you BA ions, 2 plus, and two fluoride ions. Both of them are AQ. Thus, the equilibrium expression or the KSP expression here is BA2 plus concentration times fluoride concentration squared, and that's it. This is products over reactants, but because the reactant is solid, we don't include it. This is called solubility product because it's always multiplication. There's never any division because your reactant's always a solid, which doesn't get included. Cool? Anyways, we need to figure out what massive BAF2 will dissolve in this amount of water. The way we're going to do this is figuring out where the equilibrium for this reaction lies. What I mean is we're going to need to do an ice table. I shouldn't have written this here, but uh, yeah, I'll have to rewrite it. BAF2 dissolving to give Ba2 plus and two F minuses. I'm gonna make an ice table. I hope you like them, because I'm gonna use them. BAF2 is a solid, I don't really care about it. I start with none of either of these, we're starting with pure water. I'm going to gain some amount of Ba2 plus and I'm going to gain twice as many F minuses because we get two Fs for every Ba, a one to two ratio, cool? So my equilibrium concentration of Ba2 plus is going to be X and my equilibrium concentration of F minus is going to be two X. This calls for an equation to solve. I need to plug these equilibrium concentrations into my KEQ. KEQ here is 1.84 times 10 to the negative 7 given equals BA2 plus concentration. That's X. F minus concentration squared. Here we are. Now we just need to solve for X to figure out how many moles of BAF2 dissolved. 1.84 times 10 to the negative seven is two squared gives four, x times x squared gives x cubed. So I'm gonna rearrange this. x cubed is 1.84 times 10 to the negative seven. I'm gonna divide both sides by four. Might as well do that here, 1.84 times 10 to the negative 7 divided by 4 gives me 4.6 times 10 to the minus 8. And now to undo the cube, I need to do the cube root. I'll write that here for you, but I don't usually show this step when I'm doing this myself. And I have a button for that here, cube root which gives me an X of 3.58 times 10 to the negative three. And that's my solubility in moles per liter. Now, most of the time I could stop there. If I was asked for the solubility, I'd be done. But I want the mass that dissolves in 100 milliliters of water. So, the number of moles that dissolve in 100 milliliters of water is concentration times volume. 
That's my 3.58 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter times 0 0.1 liters. That gives me 3.58 times 10 to the negative 4 moles. Now I just have to convert that to mass, which is my number of moles times my molar mass. Well, that's easy. 3.58 times 10 to the negative 4 moles. And now I need the molar mass of BAF2. I don't think I brought my periodic table with me. Uh, where would I find it? Ah, uh, yeah, found it. Anyways, the molar mass of BAF2 is 137.33 plus 2 times the molar mass of fluorine apparently gives me a total molar mass of 175.33. 175.33 grams per mole. Now I gotta multiply those like a sucker. Can you see my calculator? Do you care? 3.58 times 10 to the minus 4 times 175.33 grams per mole is 0 0.0627 grams. I could dissolve that mass of BAF2 in my water, pure water. So that was easy, just use a nice table and then do some extra calculations to figure out what the mass is. But when you're doing it for 1.1 molar HF, it's slightly different. You're still gonna start with the same initial reaction. BAF2 dissolving to give your ions. But the difference here, doesn't matter because it's solid. The difference here is that your initial concentration of fluoride is 0 0.1, not zero. You still gain some Ba2 pluses. You still gain two times that amount in fluoride, but your equilibrium concentration is not just 2x anymore. So your equilibrium expression becomes Ksp equals your Ba2 plus concentration times your F minus concentration squared. Now you may see where I'm going with this. If x is small, then 2x will be way, way less than 0 0.1. This is kind of like a rule of 100 style thing. You've probably seen it in acids and bases if you've done that unit. The point is, if x is really, really, really small, then 0.1 plus x is not that much of a difference. It's kind of like if you're a millionaire that someone gives you a dollar. You don't really care. So you still have about a million dollars. And what we're trying to get at here is that if x is small, you can ignore it. It's still going to be about 0.1. Let's solve for x and see what happens. Well, actually, this one's easy to solve now. 1.84 times 10 to the negative 7 divided by 0 0.1 squared. I can do that in my head. That's 1.84 times 10 to the negative 9 moles per liter will dissolve. Interesting. That's way less. First of all, two times that is way less than 0.1. So that assumption was okay. And I now have the molarity of my, uh, uh, I have the number of moles per liter of this that will dissolve in my HF. Note how much less that is than the amount that would dissolve in my pure water. But again, this asked for mass. So I've got to convert it to mass the same way. The number of moles that I'll be able to dissolve is concentration times volume, 1.84 times 10 to the negative nine moles per liter times 0 0.1 liters is 1.84 times 10 to the negative 10 moles. And the mass that I can dissolve is the number of moles, 1.84 times 10 to the negative 10 times the molar mass, which is 
175.33. That I can't do in my head. And if you can, then I want to marry you. 1.84 times 10 to the minus 10 times 175.33. It's 3.2 something times 10 to the minus 8 grams. Just gonna 3.22. Oh, 3.23. There we go. Sig figs I don't really care about right now. So look, you'll be able to dissolve 3 times 10 to the minus 8 grams. That's like 32 nanograms in 100 mils of water. Sorry, ah, let me reword that. You can dissolve 63 milligrams of BAF2 in 100 milliliters of water. You can only dissolve 32 nanograms, huge difference, of BAF2 in 100 milliliters of water if that water already contains 0.1 moles per liter of HF. Because you already have a common ion, F minus, in the original solution, the solubility is way, way less. That's the common ion effect, and that is my cue to end this video. Hey, best of luck to you.